Welcome to Wine Time. Time. I'm Rachel. And I'm Heather. Where two moms will pour a drink and tell you stories or complain about moms. This is Wine Time. Time. The good, the badass, and and the the crime. crime. I just pressed record because it's just totally cat ass. Oh my gosh. Benjamin, (laughs) can we not? (laughs) (laughs) The Benny. What are you doing? Hi. Hello, I'm going to take a picture of this. <laughs> Let's see if I can take a picture of the... You can take a picture from the camera. Oh, how do I do that? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear that in the recording? No. The purrs right up on the mic. Aww. Oh my gosh. So I waited to... Uh... Oh, I should do that sound again. <gasps> Could you hear that? Yeah. Yes. So Zach and I were drinking this last night. This is the one you sent me? Or you brought to me? Yeah. We were drinking it last night, and I was like, we have to save at least one glass so that when we record tomorrow, I can have some wine. And I I wanted to try this and see if you could hear it. It just sounds like somebody peeing. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Heather, you do that off screen. (laughs) You go to the bathroom. <laughs> I have to say, this 19 Crimes, so this is the Cab Sov. The Cab Sov, yeah. It's it's legit. We had, I think I told you before, we had the Snoop one, and I think mm-hmm. it was just like a red blend, and that one was bomb too. I'm like, I'm down with these uh, this 19 Crimes brand. I'm down for it. I don't know if I've had, I'm pretty sure I have, um... I don't really remember having the Snoop one, but that's what I was telling you when I brought you that bottle. I love that. And it's it's one of those things where it's like for the price of that wine, it's such a good caps off for like. Yeah. Well, and I love that that's like a kind you can find anywhere, like Ralph's, Target, wherever. California. Yeah. Yeah, You can find it. doesn't matter <laughs> it's everywhere i know that's why we yeah. gotta get the mom water out here i know hey joel hey, she says hey joel Hi. <laughs> he's like back there he i had told him once we start recording it's time for derby to go to bed because it's one of those things where like my attention span is too bad like the dog's fine it has nothing to do with the dog it's more of like what is she doing what is she doing now Mm-hmm. You know, I know. So I'll just be like, I want to give her pets, and it's a problem. So that's why I really hope Benny doesn't try to <laughs> jump back. That up is here. so funny. I love that Benny was just like, "Hello." <laughs> he does this every single time, you know. So, so I work from home, and every like he will leave me alone all day, all day. I'll be on my computer all day, working, working, working. Then I have a call. Then I have a meeting, and he decides to use that time. To jump up right in front of my computer, walk across my keyboard, like I'm like, really? Why is your timing just like the best thing in yeah, the whole world? About right. Mm-hmm. I feel like he knows what he's doing too. He's over there staring at me, like, bitch, you kicked me out of the camera. I was the <laughs> best part of this show. Exactly. Yeah. No, I. <laughs> I'm the one that matters. <laughs> and he's I love gonna make it. us famous. <laughs> Thank we you, just get a huge me. cat following. <laughs> Joel just walking around with Derby in the background. <laughs> no, that he's holding oh. a fan at this point because oh. he spoils me. So he just brought a fan to to blow oh. at me. Well, I was thinking, should we try to introduce ourselves as well? Because we yes. tried to say how we met, but that's we that's give a, a good little idea. about me. I didn't think much about it. That might be a better way to do it too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. If we hate it, we're we'll professional. <laughs> we'll try it again next week. Uh, how hard is it to introduce yourself? This is always the hardest thing for me. <laughs> so no one gets to know. For those no, of welcome you, welcome to wine time. Welcome wine to time. wine time. Oh eight. Wine Just time. kidding. Did you hear how I said it? <laughs> wine oh, time. Eight. Like, oh eight. <laughs> Love it. Love it. In the coffee Uh, attack. Rachel's having a coffee attack. But uh, Mm -hmm. what I will say is I'll tell you what I'm drinking because that'll get the get the whatever started because you need to know. Let's get this party started. Currently, it is it is 1020 p.m. 
p.m. I gotta say that. And I just brewed a pot of coffee. <laughs> You're gonna be up uh, all night. Good thing you don't work tomorrow. Yeah. Well, so it's been a very long day, and um, I got off super late, and I, well, I mean super late, but I don't know what time I got off, like 6.45 or 7 or something. Anyways, came home, we went out to eat, and I, well, Joel calls me, or I called him, because that's just what I do. But he's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to start dinner, and I'm going to have everything prepped and ready to go so that when you come home, you just shower and dinner's ready. And I'm just like, we're going to go out and have margarita and a steak quesadilla. <laughs> you yeah. we're going to do. And I was like, I love everything about you, but this is what we're doing. Right. So we went out to the place, and I don't like their margaritas very much. There are certain places that do the margaritas like – where it tastes good and then sometimes they just taste like juice or mix or whatever mm-hmm. and I can't stand that. It drives me crazy. And this place specifically does like the juice, you know? Mm. And so I ordered a double and I told them to bring me the shot on the side because I want to put it in myself because I don't trust you. I'm yeah. not a trusting human. So <clears> they brought it on the side, poured it in there and it was delicious. Then I ordered yeah. the other one and I had to give it to Joel. I was like, it's just juice. Like, it's disgusting. <laughs> So anyways, instantly I had a headache. So I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, hence the reason. So I will show you. It's almost gone, but oh, I almost spilled the other. Well, most of you can't see me. I am holding up my little coffee. My little wine time coffee. Cheers, boo. Um, But then I also, for once the headache goes away, because I am like speaking it into existence that my headache is about to go away. Yes. Um. I got another margarita. (laughs) (laughs) This one. Double fist. Coffee margarita. Coffee margarita. It's called balance. (laughs) Up or down or up or down or. Um, So, (laughs) yeah. But this one's not the Mexican restaurant um, margarita. So hopefully this one's better. I don't know because I haven't tasted it yet. But it is there in the background for if um, I feel like it. But anyways, that's what I am drinking. What are you drinking today? Nice. Tonight, I am drinking some wine for this mm. wine time wine um, podcast, mm-hmm. and it's pretty good. It's pretty dang good. You know, I think all of us has been there. But when I first started drinking wine, right, like the only thing I could really drink was Rieslings. It's so or true. Like super, super sweet stuff. Mm-hmm. And then you know your palate, you know, gets. I like to think it's more mature. Yes. You know? And yeah. uh, now you take I that chore. Yes. <laughs> the chore out, and it becomes a chore. <laughs> <laughs> now, I drink a Riesling, and I'm like, ugh, gross. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Like, this is so, and so, and I've really, you know, I used to not drink any of the reds. If we would go wine tasting, you know, I'd only stick to, like, the white wines, anything like that. But I'm, like, down for all the reds now. Love me, like, a yeah. nice red blend. Yes. A Cab Sauv, mm. which is what I've got here. Give me that Merlot. Uh, yes. See, Merlot, that, that I don't know. It has to be a really good one because I can still, like, kind of, like, ooh, it's a little strong for me. Zach loves a good Merlot, though. Good. We or, like, a, what is that other one? Tempernillos, which are, like, mm. Mm. Yeah. Yes. They're very thick. Yes. Uh, that's earthy. The, that's the word. Yeah. Yes. I like wine. <clears throat> Yeah. Wine. So. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't mean, know why I feel the need to whisper it every single time. You do. Yeah, every single time. Well, it's a secret. No one can know that we do this. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I love it. We have we have pictures of us drinking some vino, some wine together. Yes. And I'm pretty sure that back in the day when we first started going wine tasting, the majority of it was... Like, if I'm pretty sure any of the pictures that we have that actually has a drink in it is going to be a clear a clear cup, which uh, nowadays yes. you would never see me with it. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. And it's funny because I was having this conversation today with Crystal because she had said she had um, her rosé. And she's like, rosé all day. And I'm like, no way, Jose. Because I don't. So I just sweet. cannot mess with it. Yeah. There's I no know. way. I instantly, I mean, I just got a margarita headache. But I get a headache anytime I have that sugary wine. It just doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. So I -hmm. I cannot do it, but that's okay. You were the first person I ever went wine tasting with. I went, (laughs) yeah, like we went um, with your family. It must have been up in... Solvang. Solvang, yeah. 
and you were the first person I ever went wine tasting with. And then I remember, so we walk in there, you know, and, and your mom's like, oh, that, you know, metal bucket is for where you dump you your wine <laughs> out. And I was like, you two what? Would? <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> and I think me and you were like, what? <laughs> Needless mm-hmm. to say, I did not dump any wine that day. <clears throat> and and I told everyone else that was with there. If you guys even think about dumping it out, it's dumped in my mouth. You do yeah. not dump it in the bucket. I am your bucket. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am the wine uh, tasting bucket. Could you imagine, <laughs> Rachel, wine bucket Holloway? Like what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> I'm like nickname. <"Ning>, <laughs> that is so bad. Wine so bucket good. Holloway. That's wine bucket Holloway. Holloway. <laughs> That is so funny. Oh, I like that. I good can, times. I, that. I think I you should legally change your name to that. I should yeah. probably legally <laughs> change my name and just end it with that. Just why. reach a wine bucket? Yes. I like that a lot. <laughs> I think that I think something's got to change. <laughs> we are crying. Uh, we have to cut. Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> I'm crying. Uh, Ooh, I don't know why I thought that so funny. <clears throat> Rachel, oh my, my god! Like, I swear. Well, I will say. So when I was, uh, you know, building and creating and doing this podcast with you. I have been trying to, like, um, what's the right word? <clears throat> Dig up <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> our graves. <laughs> Just kidding. But <laughs> I'm trying to find all of our old pictures, right? Yeah. And so from one of our wine tasting trips, I have my dad holding you <laughs> underneath the tree. <laughs> So I have that I picture. I think and that I was laughing might have been our one. first wine tasting. Like I think that was the first time we ever went wine tasting together, and I think it was the first time I ever went wine tasting. Period. Mm. So yeah. you know, good times, good yeah. times. My my family likes to wine taste. That's for sure. And that's I love your family for it. I really do. Fun. They're, they're <laughs> some fun humans. Fun <laughs> humans. Yeah. So I, the other anyways, day, that's pretty I was having like a hard day and I was like, oh my God, you know what I really, really, really want right now? I want some tacos. Rachel. <gasps> you know what oh, I really, tacos? really want right now? <laughs> I want some of Rachel's mom's tacos. Yes. <laughs> God. Why my mom doesn't live in Kentucky to just make me tacos all the time? I don't understand. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> yeah, they so your my soul. Mom, Right. <laughs> they hit your soul. It, they are a vibe. So my mom will be listening to this. So mom, hello. Um, Shout out. Get, get on that. Get on that. Terry's yeah. Tacos. Let's go. <laughs> Terry's Let's Tacos. Go. It's just yes. right there built into the name. Right. Yeah. We've been talking about it. Waff Tog over there. Get you sell some Terry Tacos. <laughs> uh, people are not going to know what we're talking about at all. If they've you know met we, your mom once and she's ever made them tacos, they'll know exactly what we're talking about. I was saying, like, even with me throwing waff talk in there, it's just funny. Everyone's going to be like, you know, you got to understand that not all of us know you. And it's like, you have to <laughs> say things that we'll understand, too. And you know what? I <laughs> well, don't care. Well, yeah. Well, or you can just get on our level. It is what it is. Step it up. It's fine. <laughs> hey, hey, step it up. Do you want to hear my story, Rachel? I was going to say, you ready for, (laughs) you ready to talk to me? Yeah, baby. Are you ready to hear my story? I am. A thousand and five hundred billion percent. Give it to me. So there's a good chance that you and the listeners have heard of this one because it is, it's pretty popular. I mean, they've made several movies about it um, most of them are like made for tv movie like lifetime movies but oh, man <clears throat> this is the story of wanda holloway oh my god the <laughs> murder for hire cheerleader mom of texas well you want to know first of all my name is rachel uh dump bucket dump bucket <laughs> Oh my 
gosh, it's I am off. I swear, <laughs> wine. <fucking. laughs> I need to. <laughs> I need to sleep for seven days. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You just started, and here we are. <laughs> oh, Rachel, wine bucket. <laughs> gosh. <laughs> off crying what i was gonna say is i'm not wanda holloway i'm also not rachel holloway i am rachel wine bucket okay let me correct that second of all i was okay. gonna say i've actually as many stories as there been i have never heard that name before so okay as so familiar, i'm so excited yeah so i'm excited bring it on bring it on <clears> you can so speak again i thought um Hold on, let me stop crying for a second. I'm going to try to be good um, and not talk the whole time. <laughs> so, the reason, one of the biggest reasons I chose this story is because it is a mom who commits the crime and a mom who is the, you know, survivor of this crime. Oh, and, um, so yeah, uh, spoiler alert, uh, she survives. Um, and being mothers was like central i feel like to both of these women right so i thought it would be pretty cool yeah that's um, what it's so, about yeah um so there's two mother-daughter pairs that i want to introduce first so we have wanda holloway and her daughter shanna and then we have verna heath and her daughter amber okay okay so um just kind of like the gist of the story before i get into the details wanda wanted to hire somebody to kill Verna and Verna's daughter, Amber, um, to get her own daughter, Shanna, a place on the high school cheerleading squad. Are you kidding me? No. And at the Mm. time, these girls, Amber and Shanna, were only 13 years old. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. 13. (laughs) 13. Wanda sounds like she's 13. Goodness gracious. I mean, if you, once you hear the story, you're going to be like, yeah, there's, there's definitely something going on with this lady. Okay. So this all goes down in Channel View, Texas, Mm -hmm. kind of like a rundown, um, you know, lower socioeconomic status, tough place to grow up. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people um, worked at like the petrochemical plants there. Um, So Wanda, you know, she, she grew up in this kind of tough place. Um, but regardless of, of that, she was said to have had a quote unquote prideful nature and she was an overachiever, people right. thought. Um, and it just seemed like she really wanted something more than this, you know, kind of small run downtown. So when she was growing up, she wanted desperately to be a cheerleader. Um, but her dad wouldn't let her. Her the dad said no. Wanda yeah, Wanda okay. wanted to be a cheerleader. Um, but her dad said no because he had conservative religious views um and he basically thought that the cheerleading outfits were skimpy Mm. um so he said no you can't be a cheerleader and and uh in texas you know that's uh, texas a lot like that's a big thing right right? is football and cheerleading and that whole thing right so um fast forward a bit wanda married tony harper when she was just 18 <clears throat> so in 1972 and then in 1973 they had a son and then a few years later 1977 they had Shanna okay. so we have Wanda and Shanna uh, the couple divorced in 1980 um, so Shanna was still really young when they divorced and uh, so Wanda then marries an older richer guy they divorce and then she marries another older richer guy um, so she's on her third marriage, and she is now Wanda Holloway. Oh, Holloway. Okay. Holloway. Wine bucket. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, <clears throat> uh, I'm so making myself a also, shirt. <laughs> uh, d- yes! That's going to be... That's going to... Check it out on uh, winetimemomsmerch.com. Hey, Diane, did you see? <laughs> Diane wants some merch. Yes, yes, let's do it. I'm she could get a, for it. She could get a wine bucket. We will be known as the wine bucket. Wine. And wine we can spell besties. it like wine. Oh, my God. This is gold. This is okay, that's happening. Okay. Write it down. I'm sorry. Keep going. Benny is our new assistant. This. Benny, write that yes. down. Um, 
so also growing up in Texas is Verna. Um, so Verna's upbringing, though, was a bit different than Wanda's. Um, her mom was actually a twirling teacher, um, and she was like a tr- twirling teacher champion from when she was young and she was she was actually like the drum major of her high school now when i was um looking reading this story and i was kind of talking to my husband zach about it i was like twirling zach like what's twirling and i was like i'm pretty sure it's like baton twirling and he goes are you sure and i'm like no but (laughs) i'm i'm guessing yes did you look it up (laughs) Uh, no, oh. but I, I'm going to say, <laughs> yeah. but I think it is because they talked about something with like, you know, making a makeshift twirling thing with like a PVC pipe and like corks on the end. So I'm going to assume okay. it's a baton twirling, okay. right? Like, so like when high school bands go out and they have the, the twirlers, you know, I was trying to think of those ones that have the, um, ribbon on the end. Oh, so maybe it's like, yeah, maybe it's something like that, too. I don't know. I, um, I've never looked up twirling. And I'm yeah, not no, I, w- going I wouldn't, because now I'm scared that like, you look up twirling, and it's going to be some weird sexual thing, so I just, you know, twerking? I'm going I'm to skip it. <laughs> that, too. <laughs> you're Googling twirling, it auto quirks the twerking, and you're oh, like, what shit, the I didn't know I was so good at twirling. <laughs> Anyway, so we have Wanda, we have Verna. So Verna has a daughter, Amber, and Amber grew up learning twirling, not twerking, twirling, (laughs) just like her mom. Um, um, And, you know, they had daughters the same age, and both Wanda and Verna put both of their daughters in a gymnastics studio to learn and to train um, to be cheerleaders. So um, both these girls were, you know, into this um, studio, learning to be, learning all of the, cheer, like, gymnastic cheerleading moves. Um, the studio actually had, like, private lessons that were, like, $36 back then, too, which that's I think, lot. I mean, that's a lot, right? Yeah. That's what I, I was like, oh, I mean, I love my daughter, but I don't know, $36. And and that was back then. That was in probably, like, what, like, the 80s. So now it would be probably way more. 342 Probably. That sounds mm-hmm. about right. Yep. I mean, look at the gas prices. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, <clears throat> so their daughters went to the same, you know, private gymnastics studio, and their daughters also went to the same private elementary school. Okay. So these girls knew who each other were. The moms knew who, who each other were. Right. I think I even read um, that at one point, you know, they even had, like, sleepovers. Like, they ran with the same crowd. Okay. Okay. So they were having tryouts for the public middle school okay. um, cheerleading team. And Wanda knew that these tryouts were coming out. So what she did was she pulled, um, Wanda pulled her daughter, Shanna, out of the private school and enrolled her in the public school. Okay. Um, And apparently, this is a crazy thing. So when you try out to be a cheerleader at this public school, you try out, you actually campaign. Like you go around saying, like, vote for me. And then. Yeah, and then the students vote. Yeah, like a, a class president. So this year for the middle school, there were only two spots open, and three girls were trying out. So Shanna was trying out, Amber was trying out, and then some other girl mm-hmm. um, were trying out for just two spots that were open on this middle school cheer squad. So, like I said, Wanda had already enrolled Shanna in the public school, knowing that she wanted Shanna to be on the cheerleading team. Right. Um, and, but Amber technically still went to the private school. Okay. Um, but Amber's mom, Verna, got permission from the school to still let Amber campaign and try out because she said, we're going to enroll her next year at at your public school but you know we want her to be able to try out for cheer before that okay and um wanda's mom or wanda shanna's mom basically threw a fit saying like she shouldn't be allowed to try out she doesn't even go to this school like this is not fair um 
but the school was okay with it. So uh, Amber was still able to try out. She was still able to campaign. And even during her campaign, her mom, Verna, printed out, like, little flyers, um, like, vote for vote for Amber, yeah. and attached, like, little candies to it Cute. and everything. So I'm she was like, they mom. were all in. <laughs> right? <laughs> <clears throat> so in the end, Amber wins over Shanna. Okay. And, of course, Wanda's pissed because she's, like, you know, she was saying that Amber shouldn't even have been able to try out in the first place. So, again, three girls were trying out. So had Amber not been able to try out, which technically she didn't even go to the school, Shanna obviously would have gotten the spot on the cheerleading team. Okay. So that was when the girls were starting seventh grade in middle school. So the next year, Wanda's like, okay, I need to up my game. I need to get Shanna on the eighth grade cheer squad. Yeah. And um, so she calls up her ex-husband, who's uh, Shanna's dad, and she says, okay, like, we need to get Shanna on the team. Um, what can we do? And the and they come up with this plan to pass out, like, pencils and rulers um, that say, like, vote for Shanna right. on them as part of her, like, campaigning to get on the cheer squad. So the school, though, tells Wanda, you can't pass out pencils and rulers. I don't know if they were like, no, that's bribery. So somewhere along the lines of, like, flyers and peppermint candies. And then, Mm -hmm. you know, you get to pencils and rulers and you're now no longer allowed to do it. Hmm. I kind of like to think they just didn't like Wanda. I was going to (laughs) say, I don't know her, but I'm not liking her yet. So, (laughs) And so they were like, no, you can't pass out pencils and rulers. Um, it's so funny. they told her she couldn't you do it. You can have candy at school, but pencils and rulers, like, <laughs> we're going to make exactly. you bring that on your school list instead. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, and I read, too, that the dad, um, Shanna's dad, was like, well, this is a good idea because, like, there's kids who maybe couldn't afford, um, you know, right. it's like kind of a, a poor town. So, like, maybe these kids can't afford, like, pencils and rulers and stuff like that. So he thought it was a good idea. I feel like, yeah, that's nice. But I think that, honestly, the school was like, no screw Wanda she she's annoying we're not gonna let her do it I don't like candy I would have absolutely voted for Wanda I mean see we Shanna. think we're voting yeah. no I'm saying we think we vote in for the mom because she's the one who's yes. actually campaigning yeah my and bad, that's Shanna. the crazy part right is she was the one like walking yeah. around handing it out not even she didn't even give that's it to her daughter her daughter's probably to say, like, and it's the face. students who are voting so yeah. you would think it would make more sense <clears> but <throat> she was all in so um so anyway, she they tell her, no, you can't do it. She does it anyway. She's like, I'm passing these out. Right. So the school calls a meeting with the parents of, you know, the girls who are campaigning and, like, some of the parents of the current cheerleaders. So Amber's mom, Verna, was, like, president, present at this meeting. Mm-hmm. And they end up disqualifying Shanna right. from the tryouts because because Wanda wasn't supposed to do that. So, like, right. you know, you got to feel a certain type of way about that. You feel bad because you're like, look, I mean, I understand you're saying that that's against the rules, but at this point, they're now, like, punishing the daughter for the actions of the mother. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of not nice. Um, So after this, you know, Wanda was hell-bent. She was like, I need to get Shanna on a team. Um, And even after this, Shanna made it known. She said, I don't want to be a cheerleader. I don't want to cheerlead anymore. And Wanda's like, no, no, you're you're going to cheerlead. And she already started thinking about what she needed to do to get Shanna on the high school team. Oh, so God. Shanna doesn't make the seventh grade cheerleading team. Shanna doesn't make the cheerleading team in eighth grade. So Wanda's like, okay, what are we going to do to get you on the high school team? So she gets a freaking job at the high school mm. and apparently starts, like, asking around and trying to figure out how she could make sure her daughter gets on the team. And she even asks um, around and says how to potentially get other girls disqualified from trying out or from being on the team. <coughs> Amber. <coughs> yeah, Amber. Yeah. Like she's trying to make sure. I was like, are you okay? That- <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my wine bucket. I get bucket. it. I get it. <laughs> um, so oh. she, she's doing everything she can to make sure <clears throat> that Amber doesn't beat out Shanna for the third year in a row. Right. So... At this point, she hits up Shanna's uncle, so her ex-husband's brother, her ex-brother-in-law. Okay. His name's Terry, and she basically says, look, Terry, you love your niece, right? So we have to do whatever we can 
to get Shanna, your niece, onto the high school um, cheerleading team. So you have to go kill Verna oh my and Amber. What in the so that Shanna can make the cheerleading team in high school. To his credit, he's like, um, no. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you, Terry. Go home and make some tacos. What are you doing? God. <laughs> Just tie it in uh, anywhere I can. I love it. It's called a callback, yeah. for those of you who don't know, and it's it's comedic genius. I'm really good so, at it. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, so idiots. basically she's like, okay, fine. She drops it for like a couple weeks, couple months, and then later she asks again. Um, but this time she says, okay, fine. If you're not going to do it, you need to find someone who's going to do it. So the the reason she hit up Terry is because he had had some, like, minor run-ins with right. the law before. And so that automatically means he knows, like, a hitman. I was like, I, don't- I feel like that's – I feel <laughs> – let me interrupt for a moment. I feel like that's one of the only times that you actually like bring something that fucking stupid up to someone is when they might be on that wavelength for, for whatever yeah. reason. So you're not just going to randomly go up to like your friend and be like, hey, right. I'm thinking of killing someone if right. you know for a fact they're not, you know, right. like in that yeah. headspace. And apparently, yeah. even if he's had run-ins, he's still not in that headspace. So she he's is not, that right? shit crazy. Because so, <laughs> she's crazy. So yeah. he's had just, like, minor, like, like I think, like, minor run-ins yeah. with the law. And so, but she's like, well, he ran a red light. Probably, Do you want to kill someone? Yeah, something. Goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> I. Um, but she hits him up anyway. And she's like, fine, if you're not going to do it, you must know someone who's willing to do it. No. So... At this point, Terry is like, yo, like, bitch is crazy. He (laughs) goes to his brother, and he's like, dude, your ex-wife has lost it. And she's telling me that I need to hire someone to kill Verna and Amber. And, um... And then Shanna's dad, also to his credit, right, is like, go to the freaking cops, dude. Yeah, like, what are you, what are you doing? Me? <laughs> <laughs> why are you telling me for? Go to the freaking cops. I divorced her for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I divorced her. <laughs> um, so Terry goes to the cops. Um, at first, they're kind of like, okay, dude, like, you know, you're, you're, you're crazy here. So it takes a little bit of convincing on his part to be like, no, I'm serious. This, this lady's crazy. She wants to kill this woman and her daughter. Um, so eventually the cops are like, okay, they give Terry, um, like a wire and I think they like tap his phones and like, or let him like know how to record his phone calls. Mm -hmm. So we are now in like January of 1991. Um, and we're just a couple months away from the cheerleading tryouts that are supposed to happen in in March. They're not even in high school yet too, right? No, they're they're not even high. They're like, they're literally still in eighth grade. Um, Mm -hmm. the second half of their eighth grade year. So... Um, Wanda calls up Terry and she's like, come on, we got to do this. And Terry tells Wanda, he says, okay, it'll be 2,500 to kill the mom, Verna, and it'll be 5,000 to kill the daughter, Amber. So Wanda hears this and she apparently decides that's too much money. And... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, is it? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) How much then did she you says, think it was going to be to murder a mom and her daughter? <laughs> what? Well, this is the best or uh, slash the worst part, right, is that Wanda goes, no, no, that's too much money. You know what? Just kill Verna, and then Amber will be so sad that her mom's dead that she won't want to cheerlead or try out anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. This lady is insane. Yeah. Uh. So... Um, they have all this like recorded and everything like that. So, so they they've got the smoking gun here. So, on the day that Wanda is gonna go like make this payment of twenty five hundred to just kill Werner because you know the the extra five k is is too much for her. Um, she drops her daughter Shanna off at church. Okay, drives to meet <laughs> drives to meet Terry, her brother, her ex brother in law. And yeah. uses some diamond earrings she has as the down payment. Yeah. And, again, like, this is all being recorded. Because at this point, you know, the cops know what's happening. Yeah. And she's she she's quoted as saying, 
I couldn't pull the trigger myself, but I sure could do it this way. <laughs> oh, oh my, God, this lady. So, <clears throat> uh, um, obviously she's arrested. Yeah, because <laughs> they okay. have all of this. <laughs> they have all this all right. on recording, and they charge her with solicitation of capital murder. Right. Okay. So, um, so remember There's this more? is, uh, <laughs> <Gina>. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I just kind of to wrap things up here. <clears throat> so this is, um, remember this happened in January where she goes to put like the down payment with her diamond earrings. Tryouts are in March. Um, the school decides we're still going to have tryouts, even though one of the, the girls trying out mother tried literally to tried to kill another of the girls trying out's mother and the girl at one point until she decided it was too expensive um so the tryouts must go on these poor girls so amber poor amber (laughs) they must go on she literally just had someone try to kill her and um but she's trying out she's pushing through um she had she's campaigning so she has these campaign posters and some dumbass freaking kid i'm i'm hoping it was a kid either way it doesn't make it okay vandalizes one of her little like her campaign posters and writes like bullseye on her face that is so and i'm like you guys are so like it just yeah kids are so mean they're so mean they really are i can't and then there's shanna (laughs) like like, develop your brain i like dogs i just can't with people (laughs) jesus uh so and then there's Shanna, whose mom was charged and arrested for trying to kill someone that she's known since she was little, yeah, right? Seriously. Like she's known this woman in her daughter since she was little. Um, she doesn't even try out. She's like, no, I'm over this. Mom's arrested. I feel like I probably don't have to. Well, she didn't want she to does, in the first place. So she didn't want to in the first exactly. place. Exactly. She's so like, this gives her a pretty good excuse not to. Um, she does stay at the school, however, at the same school. And it's like, how awkward is it? She's passing Amber in the hall, and she's like, I'm sorry, my mom tried to kill you. Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, my god! I feel like those people probably became best friends. The world is weird. I would hope that they squashed it because, you know, it. I think it was very clear in reading all of this. And then even later on, <clears throat> because she she's arrested, right? And then she's out on bail um, waiting for, like, the trial and stuff. And they even go on a freaking show, like a talk show, to talk about this whole thing. Because this thing made, like, national headlines when it happened. And she's sitting there. And you can see online, like, the pictures. She, you know, Wanda sitting there saying, oh, it's some just big misunderstanding. And her poor daughter, Shanna, is sitting there. And she's just, like staring like blankly like this poor like 13 year old 14 year old at this point is like just staring off into space like I do not know what's going on so you feel I feel really bad for Shanna in this whole thing that is insane um yeah so at Wanda's trial she pleads not guilty well her defense hmm. yeah (laughs) what okay her defense is that this was all made up by her ex-husband, Shanna's dad, and uh, his brother, the the ex-brother-in-law, so that uh, the dad could get custody of the kids. Mm. And it's like, okay, but they literally have your ass recorded saying... Yeah. I mean, come on. So she's convicted, thankfully. Yeah. She's sentenced to 14 years in prison, because remember, this is, you know, like conspiracy to commit capital murder. No, I'm actually... that, That, to me, shocked me. Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't. Like, I feel like that, yeah, if you are conspiring to do something crazy like that, I feel like it should be taken that seriously. But I guess I did not see you saying that number. I thought you were going to be like, so she served two years and then was walking free. Oh, God. There's more? Unfortunately. Okay. I'll shut up. (laughs) No, it's a perfect segue. It's perfect. So her um, convictions overturned. Because they find out that one of the jurors that was on her case had a previous, like, felony drug arrest. Mm. So you can't, like, it makes it, like, an unfair trial, apparently, or something. More fair. I know. I know. So they (laughs) have... More fair. (laughs) So they have another trial, and this time she pleads out, and she she pleaded no contest, and she's sentenced to 10 years in prison, and she only serves six months. (laughs) 
sorry. Right when you were taking I your drink. I get my drink out just now. Six months. God. Six What a joke. Months. What a joke. I know. She spent longer plotting the freaking murder of these two six freaking people than she served in prison for it. Like, it's crazy. So, um, years, years, years later, uh, they talked to Shanna um, and, the you know, Wanda's daughter. Right. And she said her and her mom don't have a very close relationship. Whereas, Good. like, well, yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, and that she said... Um, you know, she's been the first 13 years of her life trying to get her on, like, a, a cheerleader, something that Shanna didn't even really want to do, yeah. it seems like. And then, to top it all off, you know, she plots to kill someone to get Shanna a spot on the squad. Um, so, you know, yeah, Shanna's kind of like, no, we don't we don't have a very close relationship. Um, apparently, though, at some point, uh, Wanda does say, you know, she's sorry. But it's kind of like a little too late, yeah, lady. Okay. Like, this is, it's done. So, oh um, one thing that I read that was super interesting was um, when they actually talked to Verna about this, you know, the survivor of this whole plot. <laughs> she's, she's quoted as saying about Wanda, she's a mother who goes 150% in everything she does. It's like, oh, okay. She's I mean, that's a nice. nice way to put it. Yeah, she's too nice. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, well, I was plotting to kill her, but it's like she went first. <laughs> she went first. <laughs> well, Berna has no reason to plot because her know, daughter's better at cheerleading, obviously. Yeah, I'm, I'm and, glad you know, Wanda didn't try to kill her own daughter for not being good enough. Like, I know. what is happening like she's, here? What is right. wrong with people? So, she, in my opinion, I feel like she could definitely, I mean, she may not be a straight up psychopath but she definitely has like psychopathic tendencies like she you know she has that like better than you know better than everyone like grandiose sense of self like you know she always thought you know she was she was bigger than the small town she had that prideful nature or whatever she's definitely got like zero guilt about it a total like lack of remorse she's like nonchalant about killing these people that she's known for years these people that she's known for years uh, like a 13 year old girl who you know pro- probably like spent the night at her house like you know who she's known who she's seen grow up um you know she's definitely like egocentric you know she's she oh my god one thing i read and again you just feel so bad for her daughter shanna you know she she's at this point, it's, oh, everything's for my daughter. I'm doing all this for my daughter. But, I mean, the argument is definitely there that she's doing this for herself. You know, she wasn't allowed to cheerlead when she was growing up. So now yeah. she's trying to live vicariously through her daughter. Right. And at one point, she used to have um, her and her daughter dress up in, like, matching outfits. Mm-hmm. And one of those outfits, when Shanna was very young, was, like, a cheerleading outfit. So yeah. very clearly. Makes sense. Right. You know, like, she's, I mean, she's she's pretty egocentric. Um and another thing, I just remember this just from, you know, like, research I've done in the past. Um, psychopaths, they tend to, like, have, like, they're really reactive to, um, like, a perceived insult. Like, if they think, like, you insulted them or they think, like, you know, they that you somehow put them down. Like, they take it very seriously. So you mm-hmm. could totally uh, also, like, make the argument that by Amber always, you know, winning over Shanna that she took this as like an insult and so in in doing this like she's having to get back at Verna and Amber yeah for always winning over Shanna um I was gonna say in a in a weird in a weird different way to look at it too is like I wonder how different it would have been for her I mean I don't like her I would fight her if I saw her on the street but it's like how would it have been different? I've never gotten a fight, by the way, so I don't know why I talk like that. Um, if if she did become a cheerleader when she was younger, when she was growing you know, up, if she was able to yeah. do the things that she wanted to, like if her dad, you know, I can I can understand the you know where he's coming from in certain aspects, other aspects, shut up, you know, whatever. right? But the point is, is like I wonder how different things would have been for her mentally if she was able to follow through with what she wanted to because then maybe right. you wouldn't be forcing it on your child at the same time. Right. I do know a lot of parents that um, do something and then they want to put it on their child. Like, 
right. me, for yeah, example. I... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to fucking play soccer or else. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know what well, I mean? And like, that's, it's a that's thing. That's the so. 100%. Like, it could have gone either way. Like, had she been able to cheerlead when she was growing up, and let's say, you know, she was successful and she was able to do everything that she thought cheerleading would do for her, mm-hmm. um, you know, maybe she, she, that would have satisfied, like, her ego and she wouldn't have felt the need to, to, to put that on her daughter. Or, right. like you said, like, maybe she cheerleaded and, 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 you know, maybe she still, like, that wasn't what, what, was you know fulfilling her so she still forces it on her daughter and then maybe forces it even harder because she's like look i was a champion cheerleader in high school and you need to be the same way like yeah you never know think of dan scott from one tree hill (laughs) yes exactly exactly so yeah but yeah so she's um you know she's she served six months. I haven't. I actually didn't even look up if she's still alive, but I assume yes, living her life, doing doing. Yeah, what she's she, living her she life. Does. Hey, yeah. Wanda Holloway, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out for anyone that's listening, this is my. This is not my maiden name, so <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. I'm not related to her. <laughs> yes. <Just kidding. laughs> Someone else might be. <laughs> Uh, oh good stuff that just happened. yeah to be that there. is the wow. um cheerleader murder plot of texas that is so crazy yeah i love stories like I, that uh, though like it, it does it does something to me because it, it is crazy first of all good job finding a mom on mom versus mom on mom so right? hell yeah good job i was very proud of myself for that at Thank the you. same Thank time what's up with you doing cases where moms want to kill their or not there, but kids, you know. I know. <laughs> I know. Are I you okay? <laughs> I know. I need, need to stop. No, I think film? it's hard for me because, you know, I've obviously been into true crime for for so long. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, it, it definitely started when I was in college and taking classes about forensics and psychopathy. You always hear about men. Men are, you know, obviously way more unlikely to be psychopaths or at least you know diagnosed with it so I was always it was always in the back of my mind like why are there not as many females on these like you know top 10 serial killer lists top 10 right. psychopath lists like all these things so I've always been interested in the in the female criminal um and it just so ha- you know and then when you start a, mo- a podcast about moms right. this is you know this is how it how it ends up but I like it I'm going to try uh to find a story where uh, maybe no maybe don't the mom is don't murder. keep bringing it on that's the point <laughs> You'll tell a not mom murder story when we start talking about good moms. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right now we're we'll talking about it, bad we'll moms. Bring on all that yeah. shit. It's okay. I love it. It's okay. Um, and Zach's <laughs> probably back there like, you said an hour. I see it says 18 <laughs> minutes over. What is happening right now? You know what's happening? Rachel talks too much. Rachel wine bucket talks way too much. <laughs> I swear. That is happening. We're going to have, we're going to have the wine buckets. <laughs> We're going to create it. <laughs> that is the best. Okay, I'm going to get on my cry cut cricket cry tonight. Cut. Oh, please tell that story. Cricket, no, cricket. real quick okay. before we log off. You have four more minutes. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. Because you, you know story. what? Listeners, so. you have to hear this girl right here. <clears throat> Last year, I decided, because I was mm-hmm. on you know Instagram or TikTok or something, and I saw people with their... C R I C U T machines. Okay? <laughs> I'm spelling it. I'm spelling it. And I was like, I'm going to get me one of those. We had some Disney days coming up planned. We had some birthday parties coming up planned. And I said, you know what? If, if we want to do like the whole matchy shirt, da 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 da, I was like, I bet you I could save some money if in the long run, you know, I'll just buy one of these and I'll, and I'll make it myself. Yeah. So. I'm watching, you know, I, I buy one. And the whole time in my head, I'm calling it a cry cut. Because that's how it's fucking spelled. It's cry cut, okay? And so I'm buying a cry cut. And then I get my cry cut machine. I go online. I'm, like, YouTubing. I'm doing it. And everyone's calling it a cricket. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, did I buy, like, an off-brand <laughs> Or or do they have some special machine? I mean, I know this basically this machine is doing the same thing that my machine does, and it, they look pretty similar. So maybe they just have, 
you know, like the Michaels brand or something. Shut the fuck up. Either way, they have crickets and I have a cry cut, but I'm like, you know what, it's okay. And then I'm I open up my cry cut app and I'm looking for like designs because I wanna I'm like designing a shirt and um and I'm I'm looking up the, the free ones, you know, because I ain't trying to pay. And all of a sudden I just keep seeing this little cricket everywhere in the designs, like a little like a little cartoon <laughs> cricket. And I'm like, what is this fucking cricket? why is there a cricket everywhere? What a, what is this cricket cricket cry cut cricket mother <laughs> And I realize I realized this whole time uh, I thought I had bought myself a cry cut. off brand cry cut oh, machine uh, so i personally thought that all these youtubers that i was watching that were showing me how to use my quote-unquote cry cut were like oh yeah and i used my cricket i just bust out my cricket and i'm like what the fuck is a cricket i don't know fast forward get to the part where you're actually cutting Stop shit out that. and i was like <laughs> oh my god oh shit. and then i slowly realized that i'm an idiot and <laughs> That was so funny. So were we in person or were we on the phone when I told you I bought mine? Were we together? I think we were on the phone. Okay, yeah, that's right. So we're, we're on the phone. And you know, okay, so this, is, this one, I feel like this is less less my fault. What? We're talking about starting. Less my no, fault. All yeah, my fault. right. So we're talking about starting this podcast. And Rachel is telling me about how she bought the mics that you need to use for this podcast and and she says so I bought the mic um and oh I also bought a cricket and I in my head I'm going oh the fuck like why would she buy one of those old you know phones that you buy like a grandma or a grandpa Beeper today? <laughs> did you, did you check your cook out? And then I was so confused uh, until you start telling me about how you were gonna, you know, do this and that. And I go, yeah. Oh, I fucking have one of those. I call mine a cry cut. I was like, No, you don't, valedictorian. No, you do not call it a cry cut. Let me tell you. <laughs> Who said you are the, sm- what was it, the smartest? You are the dumbest person. smart person dumbest I know. Smart person. And I swear, <laughs> every damn day, your, oh. your ex-husband said that to me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck my bad. <laughs> We're divorced now. <laughs> Remember Rachel <laughs> Winebucket? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, um. no. Yeah, I live up to that title, though, like, on the daily, though. Like, for real, on the daily. I just don't know how I've made it this far in life with, uh, like, half of my brain only working, you know, the the way that it does, so. That's a good half. (laughs) Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, man. Cheers to that. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, I was going to say, cheers (laughs) to that. (laughs) So now we're going to be using our cry cuts to make you guys mm-hmm. some shirts. Just kidding. I'm some wine idea, bucket shirts. Wine bucket. Let's do it. <laughs> wine bucket. We'll have to yes. figure out something that's clever with that idea. We're gonna, oh, my god. We need to find so out funny. where we can get made, like, cups that look like those wine buckets, and then we'll just start drinking out of those cups. Oh, my God. That would be so cute. They, they've got to be, be somewhere, cool. right? they got everything on Amazon these days. One of our, one of our a hundred thousand listeners has to be able to make one. Of those. Yes, hit us up. Let us know. Yeah, uh, you, I love you it. You email us, please. Yeah. Let us know. Email us. Find us on Instagram or TikTok. We would love to hear your stories. Yeah, we just want to be love your best it. friends. Come hang out with us. We do. We just want to have a good yes. time. Please, we want you to be a part of it too. We just want to have We're one all- big bucket. The wine bucket. You know what I'm saying? And with all of our little names. We're all in the wine bucket. bucket. 
Everyone pours a little bit into that bucket until it's full, but it never gets full because it's fucking big. <laughs> it's a big that ass was bucket. Yeah. This was a this was a good time. This was fun. a keeper. Hell yeah! All right, I will talk to you. Keeper. I mean, I'll probably talk to you in seven minutes, but other than that, we will talk to no, the rest of you. <laughs> go to sleep. We will talk to the rest of you guys on Wednesday. Or, well, Whoop. Thursdays they drop, but we'll be recording on Wednesday, so stay tuned. Thanks for listening to Wine Time, and we hope you all enjoyed this week's episode. Remember, you guys can find us on Instagram and TikTok at wine underscore time underscore pod, or you can email us at winetimemoms at gmail.com. We're looking forward to next week's episode, and we hope you are, too. Subscribe. Tell a friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I said it like that. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Uh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I just try to make it so long. Subscribe. Yeah, okay, fuck that. Thanks for listening to Wine Time, and we hope you all enjoyed this week's episode. Remember, you can find us on... <laughs> Why do you... Oh, <laughs> this <is> long. <laughs> Remember, you can find us on Instagram. <laughs> Remember, you can find us on Instagram at Wine Bucket. Black on. Okay. <laughs> I should write a book. I can't fucking read. I can't. (laughs) Try this tomorrow. (laughs) Yeah, maybe we should try it tomorrow. (laughs) Can't love you. Can't love you. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm seriously gonna pee my pants.